This is part of the Na uh, Zion National Park. So, my National Pass got me in for free. Well, everything now is free. I believe it was $80 that I paid for the pass. I don't know, this is like the sixth or seventh national park I've been to since I bought the pass. So it's, it's more than paid for itself. Considering it's, it's about $35 per visit without a pass. So it's a no-brainer if you're doing stuff like, like I'm doing. Or you have a hobby of going on hikes like this. Beautiful out here today. It has rained recently, the last few days. So I'm hoping that the end of this trail, which is the double arch alcove, has some water coming down it still. Made our first crossing. My main attraction out here are the two cabins that can be located on this trail. Two professors, I believe, from Brigham Young University. Who came out here during the summers, built these cabins, hauled all the materials through what we are going through right now to build these cabins, so. Uh, some appreciation for their hard work. But they lost their, I guess their homestead, because they had a non-permanent residency in these cabins. So the government took them back. Well, I was just coming up this trail and some very nice, kind people mentioned that there's some artifacts over here. It looks to be, I don't know, some old remains of uh, something you'd pull in a horse or a donkey. Pretty cool. Could have been used by possibly the, uh, the professors. I don't know. Let's go. Let's go see what's going on. 
Okay, so along the way on this trail, you're gonna be crossing stuff similar to this. Low flow kind of creek, or small river. But uh, I wouldn't wanna be out here in heavy downpour, that's for sure. Um, I just came around the corner. I was a little, a little stunned. And, well, I'm going to show you why. I was, you know, gawking up at the beauty behind me and wondering at all these, you know, rock formations and wow, there could be gold under that rock kind of imagination. So I, I started up this walkway here, and then I started to look up, and I'm like, oh my goodness, <laughs> wow, what a view! Now that is a view, folks. That's breathtaking. The red rock up there, that tall mountain. I don't know what peak that is. I'm too new to Zion Park, but holy cow, it's gorgeous back here. Okay, well, I, I just tried figuring out what the uh, name of that peak is there. I, I have no idea still. We tried looking on a map. We being uh, some, some hikers on the trail here. Ask them if they knew. This is remarkable, folks. I am blown away by this trail now. I uh, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, beginner's trail, yeah, it's a beginner's trail. This sure bees hiking in the wide open desert with no shade. I'm telling you, this this is a nice hike. I can do this all day long. Gee, where did that rock come from? <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. I call it a rock loosely. More like a boulder. That looks like sandstone there. It looks like it just kind of cleaved off right there. I like looking at that stuff, trying to figure out where it came from. Larson cabin. Pretty cool. It's all locked up. Very small. Oh my goodness. powder some kind of makeshift cot
not much of a roof left, but pretty cool. Very interesting, no? Strange little cut right there. Look out of your cabin and get a view like this. My goodness. And that's Larson Cabin. We're gonna continue on now, about another mile down the road here, or half mile, I think it's a half mile down this uh, this path to the next cabin. Standing ominously is that peak off to my right. It's a long ways up. The meadows along the side of the, the mountain there is, that's magical. Wow. We're going down there, all right. Wow. It's getting on. Our airplanes high above, echoing off the canyon walls here. Circa 1930, just like the other one.
wild absolutely wild all the work that went into building this way the heck out here Okay, so we're going to head on out further down the trail. Let's see if we can go to the Twin Arch Alcove. Oh, there's trees clinging on up there. Inside that mountain. A sheer face there. These I understand down below, but those up there? That's nuts. How the heck? Onward. Yeah, it's definitely gotten a lot quieter. The river has stopped running. The water flow, that is. And these uh, cliffs getting really close to us. It makes me uneasy, but uh, let's continue on. Maybe time is on our side today and get in and out of here without a rock falling. Looks like the bottom of a large ship, the curvature it has down there. It's nuts. <laughs> it's nuts. sense of what's going on. The wind has really picked up. Um, looks like we're coming into a, a cave area. Just looking upstream there. It's all dried up. Wow. There's an archway up there. It's a bridge almost. I think we're hiking up into here. That'll be uh, the turnaround point. Let's go check it out. Turn the mic around and see if we can get this echo.
be cool to hear Stuart Copeland set up right here and just do a little drum session. It's time to head back. Whoa. You gotta check this out. Two and a half miles in. To the end of the trail. Let's go back home. That's that windy. It's so windy. It's shaking. How's that, huh? Beautiful park. Highly recommend it. <laughs> 